The World Health Organization, National Institutes of Health, and the Centers for Disease Control call multi-drug resistant bacteria one of the biggest threats to public health, with an estimated 700,000 people dying worldwide every year. When the bacteria was killing a San Diego man, his desperate wife suggested a treatment that seemed really out there until it worked. Ursula Perry has the story. Two years ago, Stephanie Strathdy wasn't sure she'd get moments like this with her husband, Tom Patterson. He got an antibiotic-resistant bacteria when they were on vacation. They saw that he had this giant abscess in his abdomen, like the size of a football, and that inside was this murky brown fluid that it looked like it had been there for a while. Doctors drained the abscess with catheters, but one moved, sending more infected fluid into Tom's body. He slipped into a coma that we couldn't wake him from. And slowly he started to die. Stephanie reached out to Dr. Robert Schooley at UC San Diego Health to find bacteriophages, viruses found in bacteria that kill bacteria. The doctor calls them living antibiotics. With phage, they only kill a small sliver of the bacteria of a given type. And what you have to do is you have to take the bacterium a patient has, their own organism, and then screen for phage or active against their organism. Scientists at Texas A&M and the U.S. Navy found phages that could work. He received the first phages on a Monday, the second set of phages on a Wednesday, and he woke up on Saturday. Tom had been in hospitals for nine months and in a coma for two. He'd lost a hundred pounds. I couldn't walk. I was in a wheelchair and sitting up was was beyond my ability for more than a moment. Tom wants to be on the front line as phages are added to the fight against superbugs. I think it represents evidence-based hope. This treatment will probably be used as a combination therapy with antibiotics, for example. And already clinical trials are about to get started, including one at UC San Diego. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.